to keep the heat from coming in. Toilets? Oh no! Can we get you an outhouse? Uh, you are Ghost Rider. Go build. You got this. Hey, let's go. Please don't pee your pants. Is it downtime? Whoa, what? There was the bat. Oh, there wasn't dirt. Ah, uh, we were so close. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? We just built the bathroom. Feels bad. That's not gonna melt. That's fine. I peed myself. I'm sorry, Ghost Rider. I was not able to lead you to the victory. Hey, Fluon, with a gift sub from Uglarvis. Thank you so much, Uglarvis, for the gift subs. And Fluon, welcome back to the city. Enjoy the emotes, D20 dice, and reviewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support, Uglarvis. Thank you for being the legend. Hooking up the homie Fluon with a gift sub. Appreciate that, man. Oh, man. They're, they're coming? They're coming. Nice. Wow, jabate it. No, man, you got the gift sub. That's not a jabate. He's looking out. All right, all right. Come on, one last tile. Nice. The heat source has been contained. Nice, nice. So we did it. That's good. Now this is going to... Yep, it's already cooling it down. We're going to want to try to mine as much as we can. I think we, we start mining this area out. I think that makes a lot of sense if we can. Alright, so we got to continue mining out this side too. And then we got to mine out here. So mine this out and then we could jump down. I could stand here and mine those two. And then we get these right here. Nice. I like the way it's looking up. Oh, I see you. <laughs> it's looking at the gift sub. That's a, that's a good that's a good idea. I gotta start getting emotes that look at certain directions. So we have enough food for exactly eight duplicates. Our eighth duplicate is not here yet, but that's fine. Outside of that, oh, this sweet old man. You know what? He's probably eating a lot of sulfur. I need to put him in jail. <laughs> I hate to do that, but I gotta put him in jail. I hate I hate that I have to, man. But if we don't, he's gonna go ham on the sulfur. Alright. Mind that out. We're gonna do sweep on that tile. All of this drops to the ground, so no worries. Oh, so we explored this and there's no cool salt slush here. Really? If that's the case, it's in another one of the ice biomes. Oh, it's here then. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we, we're gonna have to check that then. Uh, while we have oxygen right now, we'll mine that out and then we'll explore this way. We could walk on top of the volcano. Ain't afraid of no ghosts. And then we should be good. Hopefully that's where it is. All right, back to the other side. All right, you're chilling. So ideally you need a ladder here. You can't mine granite. Oh, there's a pokey shell that's confined. Feels bad. We need to come rescue the pokies. That's another thing we need to do. I really wish you could rotate buildings. 
some of them you could and some of them you can't. And there's actually a mod that allows you to rotate every building. But yeah. I believe the reason why that's not the case for every building is because they have weird interactions with the game. Kind of like how... Like it doesn't break anything, but it's kind of like how the polymer press would shoot plastic from its butt instead of its head because of how you flip the building uh, and it kind of changes where the input output is. But yeah, <laughs> I think that's the only reason why. Poke shell is more like lime shell. Dude, man. Did you know pokey means lime in Japanese? I'm just kidding. It doesn't mean that. I made that up. Sounds like bad coding. Hey, man, it is what it is, Ace Cal. New point of interest with bottle emptier or I was just unlucky. Wait, what? New POI with the bottle emptier? What do you mean? Pokey means small cuts. So Pokemon means small cut mon. I'm confused. I thought I thought I thought it meant something else. Some some. Oh, I got Peter. Oh, I gotta I gotta hold the P dirt here. Oh. Bottom, uh, upper left. I don't see it. Bottom up here, upper left. Unless this is the wrong asteroid. Water weed. Oh, pitcher pump. Yeah, pitcher pump, pitcher pump. It's Hawaiian, not Japanese. Oh, my bad, my bad. My bad. I got it wrong. I mixed up the languages. That's my fault, you guys. Oh, my God. I thought I found the AETN. It's just a locker room. That means it's not going to be here either. Oh, what? All right. So here, here, here. Uh, we mine through here, and then we go below the sand so it doesn't collapse on us. Oh, man, that's a ladder. That's a locker room. That's an AETN. Where's my saltwater geyser? Oh, there it is. Always lucky. All right, so the last geyser I need to find is natural gas, right? No, I do not have natural gas. So I have this, I have that, I have this, I have that, I have this, and I have that. I have all the geysers. Okay, cool. So I think we found all the geysers. Good stuff, good stuff. So we did some good exploration today, so we could check that off the list. Guys, have you guys seen the... Uh, it's, it's kind of a meme, but uh, there's like a meme where... It's, it's, uh, you know, and just because you might have problems with making a list and actually keeping, keeping the list accurate and following through with it, a lot of people put tasks on it, like start a list, cross an item off, and then you, you start to put your goals after the fact. So that when you look back on your list at the end of the day, you got more done, not looking at the top of the list being miscellaneous, stuff like that. So it's kind of like a little mind game you play with yourself. I saw some, I saw a meme. It was exactly that. And it was start a list, cross off items on a list, and then do laundry. Right? And then the quote was, I got most of the stuff done today. And it was two out of three items done. And which was start a list and cross something off. And the third thing didn't get touched. Yo, man, it'd be like that sometimes. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it did. didn't you make a video using the AETN to make ice? Yes. I stole that idea from Cthulhu. He actually just gave us a really great idea. But uh, yeah, this machine, if you didn't know, freezes temperatures to minus 173 if you feed it hydrogen. However, the problem with this is that it's slow. 
the amount of which you actually cool anything down, it's not fast enough to actually be able to uh, use as active cooling, which is the problem. So because this kind of moves at its own pace and own speed, you kind of have to work with the machine in and of itself. Cthulhu's legend, man. Oh, the second snazzier suit? How do I say no? How do I say no? All right, we're D20ing this again. So this is an 18. So one, one, two, wait, wait, Poetic Arts has one. Uglarvis has one too, right? Wait, so who has the suit? So it's Poetic Artists and Uglarvis. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wow. It's actually Cthulhu. And he's the only one that wants it in chat. <laughs> hey, man, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Sometimes it just lines up, man. I could do a little get your suit on. Where you at? We need you to wear the nice suit. Dude, I, I, I don't know, man. He rigged the Nightbot or something. I can't tell you how he did that. Yo, Cthulhu, where you at? Are you stuck? Why aren't you getting the suit? There he is. Get the suit, buddy. You look good in blue. Hey, Looking like Mr. Hightower over there. With the uptown fade. Looking clean. I win Pog Slide. I know, right? We need a prediction for the next pod printing. <laughs> hey, man, if that's what you guys want, what, what kind of predictions would it be? Phil and Lucky. Cthulhu, man. Just buy a lotto ticket. Might be time. Oh, and he duels Nightbot! Oh my god, the ultimate test of luck. Good luck, Cthulhu. Let's see if you're actually lucky today. And nope, Nightbot's like, yeah, man. I gave you one of those, you're not gonna get two. Feels bad, man. Nightbot is not messing around. Oh, he's dead? Oh, he's dead. Mamba. I hear you, baby. And Mamba's yelling at me. I hear you, Mamba. Reach the limit. Yeah, man. Sometimes you use up all the luck. Alright, so... We don't have enough polluted dirt still. I need to crack the... This guy's are open, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I need to get some more oxygen down here. So I need to keep moving down. You're starving? Oh, you're not allowed to eat nutrient bars. That's what it was. Go eat, buddy. You got this. You got this. He was just fasting. You know what it was. Passover. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. Now that it's over, because it's nighttime, he gets to eat. Nightball giveth, and Nightball taketh away. Yo, man. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. Alright, so I need to move my oxygen from the rust a little bit lower, I think. But I need to get Arbor Tree started to be farmed, which is probably going to be in this area. This abyssalite, 32 degrees. Arbor trees grow at what temperature range? Uh, here we go. 15 to 4. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Okay. So, if I were to extend this out, it would be here. That's actually not bad. I'm down with that. And then it continues the pattern. Okay. So that means here and here. All right, let's start building some platforms for that. So I deconstructed the ladders because I didn't think I would need it, but I need to bring them back. <laughs> let's sweep up some items over here. Mine this. And 
and I don't want to extend this out because of the cold abyssalite. So I should just leave this separate. Let's turn this on for a second. There's a lot of CO2 and chlorine in the area anyways. So I might as well remove as much as I can. All right. I could switch to electrolyzers, but I'm actually going to try to see if I could not go with any electrolyzer setups. Oh, I was like, I'm out of water. That's got to be a meme. I need to mine this tile. <laughs> and the roots auto extend. Oh, they're going to die. They're not, they're not in enough water to actually drown, it looks like. Let's mine this out so they could actually uh, survive. No, no, nobody. Feels bad. There we go. Y'all are is alive now. Recently was a bit discouraged with the amount of trees and do calculations ended with six domesticated, five wild for one gen. Feels less space wasting than 28.8 wild. Ooh. So the factor goes up by what is it? What what is the, what is the factor difference? It's a four factor, right? Yeah, it is four. So four times the amount. So I would have to feed it dirt and polluted water. I think I will have to grow some the moment the petroleum generator actually starts running. Because I want to use that as my polluted water source. Let's see how many I could actually keep alive. But I think we're just going to do wild planting for now. Alright, going to have to mine that out. I'll probably extend out the tiles a little bit more. Both sides, of course. Let's actually see if we can mine this out. And then... Yeah, this is fine. I probably have... Yeah, fat bubbles of oxygen. Oh! Pressurized. Okay. Starting to be at 2,000 per tile. That's very attractive. I'm getting pressurized. Okay. Gotta hit bed early... Or gotta hit bed sadly. Good luck with your new run. Thank you, Lunuscus. Hope you have a good night of rest, and we'll see you next time, buddy. Thank you for hanging around, and, uh, you know, just stopping by, saying what's up. Appreciate that, my friends. Okay, so this is ready. Does that mean we're ready on this side? Oh, they can. Okay. So, let's continue our job, though, of have her doing uh, what she needs to do over here. We're just going to do a little bit of heat sealing on this side. And she will survive, so don't really mind it. Aw, oh, someone got trapped? Where is it at? Oh, this guy. Come on, Uglarvisk. This guy is not trapped. I see you over there. And still, water slightly positive and enough Peter to feed five Sage Hatches. Enough for one coal gen running constantly. I see you over there. I'm going to use the P-Dirt, though, for my sublimation station and create polluted oxygen <laughs> i don't know if that's gonna be a good idea but that's the logic all right we do need to go down the sulfur so i might as well start that and it looks like i need to seal up this tile right there so that the uh, heat doesn't leak in too much groomed hatches groomed hatches man P-Dirt to Sages, huh? P-Dirt to Sages. Some clay too, yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. Clay just lets me uh, replace my farm tiles with uh, clay instead of dirt. <laughs> you know, with, with the Clay Studios being the name of the, the company that makes this game, you would think that they would try to make clay a really strong resource. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, all you need is ceramic, which means you need clay. <laughs> and so it's like a play on words kind of thing. That that could have been funny, man. 
Just saying. That clay ends up being overpowered. <laughs> Alright, so this area is starting to get dumped with the uh, heavy gases. It's unfortunate, but we can't really do anything about that. So we're going to expand downwards. That's probably going to be the best choice of action. Which is probably what we're going to do on this side. Once we tap all the water here, we'll go to this water pool. We'll keep this one up top, because it's uh, not bad. And then we'll probably have to move where our oxyferns are. But now that we have pressurized oxygen, I don't have to worry about keeping these active as this will just overpressure my base, but that's okay. It's gonna be a while before we get to like 3K. So I am not able to store sulfur. Why is that? Sulfur is miscellaneous, that's why. Okay, cool. So that should be okay now. Little bit, oh, little bit of chlorine too, feels bad. I have a mixed gas tank. Looks like I uh, messed up on the uh, mechanical filter slightly. Clay goes ceramic. It is. It is. But that's like really the only use for clay. You get farm tiles. Outside of that, you cook it to make ceramic. And then, bam, you ran out of uses. Thirty degrees. So this is perfectly fine as we could go up to forty degrees on the arbor acorns. Cool. These guys oh there's three oh yeah, they're cramped. Yep. We're going to need to save these guys too. There is a little bit of sulfur there. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I don't want to swap ladders, but I think that's smart. Because if I allow this to go through, some of the sulfur gets gets through. I guess we just sweep the whole thing. Alright, so the plan is we go all the way down. So that these guys are no longer cramped. And then we need to seal this up so that this doesn't melt. New printable. Who do we got? Water. I don't need water. Uh, you're a rancher that has critter aversion. No, I can't do that. Okay. He's a cook that starts with grilling. I'm not even mad about that. <laughs> I'm not even mad about that. The irritable bowels kind of sucks and unconstructive. I'm okay with. I'm not going to bring my cook anywhere. Yeah, we'll take Ren. All right, and that means this is going to be Rambo Part 6. Yo, man, in Rambo Part 6, Rambo becomes a cook. He has to become undercover agents so that he could get to... I don't even know. <laughs> Rambo Part 6. I have not seen enough Rambo movies to have like a feel for the villain names. He has to fight Adrian. No, not Rocky, not Rambo. My bad, my bad. Alright, still working on that. So technically, we're going to slowly lose food. Oh yeah, now we're here. And then technically, we could do this. I could do that, that bops this tile, mine that, mine that, mine that, and then I would want to mine this. Yeah, okay, cool. Hey, oh man, my bad. I totally understand. Dude, I'm basically Captain America, dude. I understood that reference. <laughs> I've been asleep, dude. The entire time pop culture has been doing its thing. It'd be like that sometimes, man. 
That's what happens when I'm not on the TikToks. Like the uh, youngins are. I miss that on the memes. Alright, alright. Oh, did we... Ah, uh, I built this and I never actually moved back to Sweetos then. There we go. He's gonna eat all my sulfur, dude. <laughs> I know he is. So I need to I need to wrangle him. Back to here. That got built. All right, the hot water is here. See, the vacuum is gonna act as a wall, which is why I wanted that. And then we're just going to seal it up at the bottom to the Neutronium. That's true, but I have a lot of CO2 already, man. I got to be real. <laughs> CO2 is life, man. Unless I go for Slicksters. CO2 is life. Oh! Uh, you guys are cramps. Oh, crap. Can someone actually go down here? Oh, no, they can't. They can't. There's a little bit of sulfur. I don't think it's going to matter. But hopefully they're not all standing on that tile <laughs> when I mine it out. Because that would be kind of bad. All right. Hope for the best there. Come on, Rambo. Good timing. Good timing. Oh, look at that timing. The only thing is that sweet away at the bottom. All right, that's good. That's fine. Uh, Yeah, we'll leave that there. It should be okay. So now I should be able to mine that and then get to here. Get to here, get to here. Operation Save the Bugs. Dude, the bugs are great, dude. You gotta save. And... I think we got him, right? Two babies. Oh, no. Did we actually wrangle him? No deliveries. There's no Sweetle. Cool. So, this should be fine. It's time to deconstruct the door so they don't get cramped. 84 is not technically enough. All right. Now, with that, we're waiting on this. I will do that in case someone falls down or something stupid happens. Oh, no research. Okay. So, we got the statues. I don't have plastic yet. I do have suit tech. Alright, it's time to tech up for rocketry. So, we're going to do the data analysis. No, actually, I need to grab the telescope. Where is the telescope? Oh, I have it already. Enclosed telescope? All right, we'll grab that. Cool, cool. I don't need the filter anymore. All right, looking at this, it's about two tiles thick in most places, which is what we need. And then... We need this replaced. I want to keep everything frozen if I can. And then we'll come back to tap into the Cool Salt Slush Geyser later. Alright, so Arbor Acorns and all that. And I also need to do a Draco Ranch soon. Do I even have... Okay, I do. Got two, three Draco babies. Not lucky over here. Feels bad. None over here either. One, two. Oh, and a baby. Three. Okay, we have like, we might have a full ranch of eight already. Just wandering around. That's nice. That's really nice. So. Hmm. That 
that's actually not bad. Yeah, okay, so I don't have the chance to mine this out right now. I think we're better off mining this out. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. And we're also able to mine through the sulfur now. Should be able to just mine through the sulfur. Found recently that there is enough time to tame old Drekos that laid already egg to give one two as domesticated. Oh wow! So yeah, that's only possible with Drekos, then, right? Because you need to have one fifty percent, uh, one fifty cycle count in order to pull that off. Because you you get what wild eggs are at eighty percent growth, so add a hundred cycle count at life you get a wild egg at 80. so if it's 150 you probably get it at 120 and then you have 30 cycles you probably yeah you probably just get that barely on the edge that's not bad i wonder if that's coincidence or if it's uh, supposed to be like that all right so we don't have to keep mining this i don't mind that yet this is technically just a pocket for now. And... Okay. We can put our ladders here now. I think that's going to be my ladder spot. And have the rest of this be my arbitrary farms. Now I know we need to go out to the edge. And then most likely, this is just going to be filled in with insulated tiles. Forest start, best start. Is it Midnight Moon? We got the rust oxygen right now. But no algae is a tough time. Still oxygenated though. Not bad. How you doing, Midnight Moon? How's the days today? How is use? Ah, oh, there's slime lung on that. It is fast start though. Yeah, it is. Not bad. We'll keep the ladder there for now. Build those two. Oh, and I need to check back on this side. And then... Should be fine like this. I love Aborio for the aluminum ore. That's it. Aluminum is really strong. The most conductive metal that you would have early on. Because it's, what, second to what? Thermium? In terms of conductivity? Barely. <laughs> it's like five points. Easy molten aluminum setups. How long is, is it liquid? Oh, damn. So 20 sun. Yeah, you can melt aluminum. Is it also conductive? It drops from 205 to 20.5 but is that high for water it is right so aluminum liquid is very conductive and i could probably use this in a metal refinery loop to oh i could use this to make a boiler oh wow melt aluminum try to pump it up into the pipelines as best as you can run it through a metal refinery to keep it hot Heat it up to 2,000. Use that as a heat source. Oh my god. That's a wide range, dude. That's really good. I'm not even kidding. Oh, you melt the ore. So that... <laughs> so that you have more leeway after it melts. That's actually pretty smart. That's actually pretty smart. I was thinking run I was thinking to run the glass forge directly to the uh, metal refinery. And once you have that, you get a hot liquid to melt the aluminum and then actually just keep heating it up so that you don't run into solidification. That's what I was thinking. That's smart too, doing the ore instead. 
that guarantees the buffer. Remove the door, nice. Mining up top, nice. Okay, so now we are probably going to... I mean, the oxygen isn't going to last forever, right? So I need to start getting the ethanol set up. So, got to seal that up. And let's start doing the strat that we would want. So it would be... Hmm... I don't want to do the efficient setup. I want to do the maximum tree branch setup. So... One, two, and then it's that one. Research complete, nice. AT trick tur uh, works too for aluminum ore, nice, nice. Wait, is it it means efficient? Well, it's efficient in the sense that the moment it goes through state change, you don't have to do any additional cooling. This is what I mean when I say that. Uh, hmm. I could try to put dirt here. Nah. No, I missed the finale of the last colony. Vod that later. Yep, got to time phaser. But yeah, the all achievement colony is indeed complete. How are you doing, Time Phaser? How's the Thursdays, man? Doing okay today? And then I don't think I worry about heat. I don't think I do. I think it's going to be pretty temperate. Especially if it's wild planted. Like, I'm not going to do anything weird inside. Yeah, I think it should be fine. Good yourself? You're doing pretty good, man. Got off to a start on the colony. It's not bad. We have nine dupes. We have a lot of oxygen. Although we're not at a final option. Meaning that our source of oxygen is not going to be stable for the long term. Because I'm just running one rusty oxidizer constantly. So I need to transition to a better source. After that, I need to get to the top of my map so I could start doing space scanning. But yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Going to be trying to go for an ethanol farm and uh, ethanol is going to be considered life in this colony. Meaning we're going to try to run ethanol, try to do as much as we can with it. That means we're going to have drunk dupes. Dude, they're good. they have to kind of make a bar, dude, at some point where you could drink ethanol. <laughs> like, that's gotta happen at some point. That's gotta happen. But yeah, ethanol is gonna be uh, the main source of what we want, so that means we're gonna need to be planting a lot of arbor trees. Nice. This is this is totally mechanics, guys. We already got juice for something more soft. Yeah, man, we need that hard liquor. This is totally how the game's intended, guys. We magically make tiles. Trying to figure out how I got 28 grams of sour gas. Ooh, do you have an oil well? Do you have a uh, hot abyssal line at the bottom, potentially? A squared, I see you over there. Totally intended mechanics, yes. These are totally intended by the devs. All right, the research is done. So that's for the telescope. I will grab the data analysis next. Oh, I could do radiation before that. Because I do have Weezwarts. I could try to grab.
I just use a buildable dirt tile mod that you could do it by another stupid method. I'll just do it easier. <laughs> I see all the too long. Yo, man. It'd be like that sometimes. I gotta, I gotta showcase the exploits. Sometimes you gotta showcase the exploits, man. Not sure it's just floating around my base. What? <laughs> Random sour gas. Uh, you can get sour gas inside a geode. I believe that's the case. Do you have like geodes as a modifier? Because you could get water in a geode. You could get any of the gases in a geode. I've seen one with CO2 like a lot. I've seen a little bit of oxygen. I've seen water in it. I've seen diamond and lead. I've seen obsidian inside. I've seen sour gas inside as well. The geodes. It's that circular rock formation. Do I have one? That's like a... Oh, it's like this. It's like this. It's that small thing of abyssalite. But part of it's hollow on the inside. Do you know how to do the door trick sideways? It's useful if you're already up against the ceiling and need a tile on the roof for the hanging plants. Do the door trick sideways. Ah, so you're saying you do it like this. And then you deconstruct from the side. And then you remove... Well, this is already the ceiling tile. Has the point to the right. Ah, didn't know that. Not too often do I actually have to do the buildings like that. I see you over there, A-squared. Coming in with knowledge. So that would be like that. And then I would kind of want that. I'll take that. Such a niche thing, you'd almost never use it. But it's very useful in that one specific case. Yeah, 100%. 100%. All right, so I could start planning here, and I won't actually... Yeah, 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 No, you know what? This could be the ceiling for my box, and we could walk up top by running across. We're just going to use this ladder temporarily. Okay. So... How do I want to seal up this part? I need to put my arbor seats here, so we're going to have this critter drop off, and then I could just put doors. That feels a little bit lazy, though. And then I probably want airflow at the edge, and somewhere in between, so that the gases could naturally just separate. Uh, how long is this? This is 25 tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's not bad. That's a decent pattern. No research again. Cool, cool. That means we got to grab the CO2 rocket engine. And then we'll grab the rad tech. All right, so how are you doing? We need that plus this plus that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll seal up the heat right there. And then once this gets hot, it has to push up to the left before pushing down. After we do that, I need to mine this. I need to mine that. And then from here, I want to jump up to this tile. And then I should be standing here. Here, 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 here. And we should be able to move up. At this point, I do want to mine that out. 
because the abyssalite is a little bit warm. Actually, <laughs> we shouldn't break the abyssalite yet. I will put a tile here, though. This is going to be Arbor Seeds. Guys, guess who's back? It's the Mamba. He's back napping. And then we need to wrangle a Pip into here. So I need to seal that up so that it's considered a separate room so that the Pips don't, you know, break out because they're going to walk along the side of the walls. This hasn't turned on in a second, but I think that's fine. And we're starting to stockpile the ethanol. Not bad. So it is heating up, and we're cooling it down with said ethanol. Not too bad. Alright, so now they're idle. I see you guys over there. Start sweeping then, if y'all is idle. Okay, baby pips. Chillin' chillin'. Can't be mad at them. Out of pee dirt again. At this point, we're going to be waiting to do that. I want to make a Drekel Ranch. I think that's going to have to be here. And then I'll have to insulate that. Alright, so that's ready. We will take a pip. The babies can't plant. This guy is... Okay. That guy's far away. Alright. We'll crack into the oxygen right here. 32 kilograms. Oh, and you know why? It, it's been slowly just consuming CO2. Is oxygen just climbing here? Yo, man, let's, let's crack into it. It's time. So... Let's mine that, mine this. Because the sand's going to collapse on us anyways. Fertilizer is not that great. Research rocketry. This is pretty good. If Cthulhu was waiting on the list, I would have took him just to give it to Cthulhu. Because he could have been a databank guy. <laughs> that would have been perfect. I'm still taking Liam. I'm still taking Liam. Alright, so with that, Liam is going to be Gorbash. Welcome in, Gorbash. You're going to be our researcher. And Gorbash won. Nice. Thank you, Gorbash. Welcome to the colony. And Clash is going to be the last dupe if we uh, get to the last dupe today. I'm on to your tricks. I see you over there, Cthulhu. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's you know it's it's all fun. It's all fun in games until someone gets uh stuck on the rocket, pees his pants. All right, so now we get that. Nice. Hopefully he's not too far out. And you know what I can do? We could move that out to keep pumping a little more. This guy's about to send me to space anyway. No rockets still. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I'll get it, I'll get it. Zero rocket skill, no science. I see Cthulhu Long coming in. Looking like Forrest Gump. No worries. You could be a passenger, dude. <laughs> you could be a passenger, man. Just saying. Alright, we're going to grab the second set of gates. Because I might eventually need it for an Aqua Tuner setup. Now, realistically, will, will there be a way for me to produce oxygen purely off of polluted dirt? I don't know if that's actually possible, to be honest. I don't know if that's actually going to be possible, because I've constantly just been out. Even if I do ethanol distilleries, will it be okay? Because I need, I need a lot, right? Just to do one ethanol distillery. 
and that's 333 grams per second. Heavy on sands. That's true. That means I'm just going to need a lot of sands. It's just going to build a rocket and make me live there. Yo, man, the strats. <laughs> they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. It really do be like that sometimes. I will keep this sand there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should work. At least there is some. No need to crush, uh, at least for some time. Yeah, we have sand for a while. But it's like, yeah, it's true. I will need a lot of deodorizers. So what else can I use for oxygen? It has to be water. Ah, oh, man. Using the sweet old water electrolyzer setup. I, I'll, I'll try to see how long I could survive, though. Once we get the ethanol distillery up, I'll try to remove the rusty oxidizer. I'll probably still have it hooked up. <gasps> I'm out of salt. Uh, crap. Guys, the rusty oxidizer phase is over. <laughs> I'm out of salt. Oh, man. I don't want to mine that yet. Yeah, I have to mine that. Feels bad. Feels bad. They don't think it'd be like it is, but to do. We gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, after we get rid of all that salt, we're probably gonna be out of salt. I'm slowly solidifying my magma planet. I'll set up a steam turbine and left. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> what a meme strat, dude. Can you send the algae you have to the second asteroid? Uh... There's a chance, yeah. Where is my teleporter? I don't even have my teleporter yet. I can, but she can't turn it on. Oh, and hi, I see you over there. It's not that I need it, though. I I'm fine. I'm just trying to do the challenge of not trying to use the algaes right now. I just don't want to mop all the lava. That stuff is hot. Hey, man, pitcher pump. Pitcher pump. Pitcher pump is king. Oh, I dropped. No, that's not possible to drop off the pips. Wait, did we wrangle the pip? We did it, right? How come there's no pip in here? Alright, get this guy. Yo, get this guy. Does no one have the ranching skill? Oh, wait, no. I have someone that's ranching. Does Is he not set for ranching? No, he is. Oh, there he is. That's not, not drip compression or no entrance below magma. That's true. You got always just uh, infinite boxes, dude. You have rust on cold biome. Uh, I have rust biome, if that makes sense. And I have some up here as well. I just don't have salt because you need salt to be able to do uh, tap into the rust. I spent 10 cycles pumping lava and gave up. <laughs> I see you over there, Cthulhu. Yeah, it's, it's very tedious. You could technically... Oh, no, you can't. I was going to say, you could technically try to do a meme strat and do an infinite spill box. What about door crushing? Door crushing is pretty fast. That's what I would do. I would door crush. I have salt. Yeah, I just have to, I have to mine to it. That's it. Oh, it's not max priority. Oh my god. That's why I wasn't getting my pips. Alright, we'll go around this way. You guys know something cool? If you guys didn't know... Polluted water is only able to off-gas from the top. You cannot off-gas as polluted water from the side or from the bottom. It's a really weird mechanic. So if you have polluted water in an airflow tank, and you have a layer of water on top, 
It's actually sealed perfectly. And none of the gas off-gasses. It's really weird. I don't know why it's only able to off-gas on the top. It, it would make sense. It would off-gas from the side or the bottom. Much like how the solid tiles do. The polluted mud tiles. I mean, uh, the polluted dirt tiles. It's really weird. Oh, there he is. It's time, boys. Hey, for seed. Nah, nah, just use one steam turbine and see how long it takes. That's what Cthulhu is doing. <laughs> That's what Cthulhu is doing right now. He's trying to see how much power is too much. Alright, setting up our arbitrary farms. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. All right, research wise, we could grab the wall toilet. Oh, Radbolt stuff. Yep. I should start mining up the top. Hey, gonna be lurking, but happy to catch a stream. Yo, Carlin. Oh, yo, Carl in host. I see you over there, Carl. Thanks so much for popping in, man. Of course, hope you have a good Thursdays. Drop it in all the unused salt so it evaporates into space. <laughs> Yep, always use it. Three grams of water on the top. Stops the polluted oxygen. Yep, yep. P water strats, man. Gotta have them. So I should actually continue trimming this as well. Oni, you, uh, physique sometimes really weird and super fun to exploit. Yeah, it's like, sometimes the jank stuff is what makes it fun. <laughs> That's kind of why I like watching speedruns. You guys out there, if you guys know what speedruns are, like, sometimes it's just fun to watch someone completely break the game and completely just beat it and dominate it, you know? When making your cooling box for O2, what's the smallest size you recommend? That's actually dependent on the type of metals you have available. So the box size is dependent on what you are able to use for your radiant piping and potentially your temp shift plates. So depending on the refined metal you have, that's going to affect how small you can actually push it. If you have all aluminum, you could technically do a 2x6 and it's strong enough to cool down your oxygen. However, you're probably always gonna wanna do a three by three minimum due to how the temp shift plates interact with the tiles around it, right? So that's effectively a three by three box. So you don't want the temp shift plate interacting with the insulated tiles, but that's what I would recommend. Now, depending on what you have though, if you don't have even cobalt or aluminum, you have to go at least 4x4. Four four. Oh, stream cut out. Come on, Ace Cow, you gotta get better internet, dude. So, if you have a variety of refined metals, you're gonna want to pick the refined metal that has the highest thermal conductivity. Because that's the speed at which your oxygen cools down, effectively. So, the higher your conductivity, the smaller your box. You could technically do aluminum in a 2x6, but because of how the temp shift plate works, you're going to basically do a 3x3, right? And then that extra three tiles buffer, you know, just guarantees that you always have cool oxygen. Now, if you don't have aluminum, you're probably going to want to do a 4x4 box because cobalt, you can get away with a 3x3, but everything else is a 4x4. So it depends on what refined metal you have options. But aluminum, because it's so strong, man, dude, it's amazing. <laughs> Oops. I'm supposed to copy the ladder. And we got a new dupe. What do we got? Copper. Hassan, May, or Ren. Hmm. Research dig doctor. Caregiver. I don't typically need a doctor. I don't need a farmer. A rocket pilot's nice, but this stuff is bad. I'm taking the copper. 
Ooh, if you could get the refined aluminum, you could do a smaller box. But if you don't want to deal with that, just use your cobalt. 3x3. Three 3x3 three. Three three with the cobalt. Now for your ventilation pipe. Your best option is always going to be iron, I believe. Because for whatever reason, amongst metal ores specifically, the iron ore, I think it's the best. Oh no, aluminum ore is the best by far. I'm sorry. Cobalt's not that great. It's at 4. Copper's at 4.5. Isn't iron the 4.5 as well? No, it's 4. Oh, copper's the best. My bad. I mixed that up. And, uh, yeah. So usually, you're going to want aluminum if you can. If not, copper ore for the gas vent pipe. Because the radiant pipe on the gas version is the metal ores. And the values kind of fluctuate a little bit weird. Just because you don't use the doctor doesn't mean you don't need one. No need doctor until mutating plants. Yeah, I remember your entire colony was damaged the last run. Hey, man. Hey. That's what happens when you're mutating plants and you're like, I don't need lead suits. Because <laughs> that was me. I don't need lead suits. I'm cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we all know how that worked out. It was a bad time for us. But hey, we, we got it through. So I'm happy. But I see you over there. You might be right. I might want to get a doctor at some point. Do a little bit of that triage. Alright, so I just realized there's plants over here that's potentially going to hurt me. So I need to start going over there. <laughs> I need to start going over there. The Drekos can't kill themselves, right? By breaking out. And they're not going to do anything bad. Uh, Yeah, this should be fine. And then I'll just put a ladder here. And then I'll mine this, jump down here. Three tiles, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles, three tiles. And then ladder, ladder. Should be fine. Just might do 4x4 four four for aesthetics. Yeah, the 4x4 four four fits perfectly in the room size, which is why it's a lot of the times pretty nice. It lines up with the room values. Forest start is super hard for water, aka O2 in the start, but the resource insides are so good for mid-game aluminum pips. Yeah, man, it's great. Aluminum is, is just amazing. Now, the thing is with the forest start is I got cool salt, cool slush, and polluted water. That's a lot of water. I could literally do that and build an electrolyzer setup. Like, I'm not even worried about it. I could easily set up a hydra or whatever you guys want to call that. I have a lot of water, dude. Cold water, cold water, and I have 30 degree water right here. 30 degree water right there. It's nice. I have so many options. Is he isn't is he not able to plant? Oh, they took away my arbor seeds. What? Oh, it's here. Ah, that's what happened. He took away his seeds. I was like, why is he not planting anymore? It's so weird. <laughs> this pip got robbed. He didn't even know. Alright, let's try to get that mined out. Alright, we will leave the rest of this abyssalite there. I will mine out the granite. And then we'll start trimming in on the inside of this. Add assault. How bad is it thin and out? Oh, this is ready. I could actually get rid of this. Yep, I could actually start pumping from the bot. Oh, that's going to be nice. So we're going to need more oxygen now that we don't have salt. <sighs> you know what, guys? I think I might just have to make an electrolyzer setup. Ah, uh, man. I think I just have to at this point. Feels bad.
we'll start pumping so that we have more O2 spread. But I think we're going to want to tap into the water. If we don't tap into the water, I don't think we have enough heat to warm up the cold water so we could filter it and have it become actual water instead of polluted or salt water. So I might just want to grab this. This is also good enough for an aqua tuner. So the problem is, is that I'm going to run out of salt. I have salt here as well, but eventually I'm going to run out. All right, we'll go salt for now. So we want to do that. And then we will mine that out as well. I am going to do this to be able to go downstairs. Uh... How do I want to do this? Technically, I want to be like that. Oh, that works. And then we walk around. And then once we mine the top stuff, we can mine the bottom stuff. Cool. Salt from salt water. I see wolf there for one. All right, I'll start desalinating this. I have nothing to heat this up, though. I would actively have, have to run this over the cool slush. <laughs> the cool steam and the cool slush. Can't get down there, I don't think. No, we could. We could. We got the pathing, baby. Uglar Visk has his uh, Sunday best on with the nice blue snazzy. But there is nothing but O2 down there, sadly. Did we get this? Yes, we did. Get the seeds, Pip. Oh, he was planning. Oh, I saw the seeds in its mouth and I canceled it. Feels bad. Yeah, O2 prob production without renewable sources not fun. Constantly mining and running for not running out. Yeah. I think I will have to get an electrolyzer eventually. So I will just use this as a stopgap and I will eventually tap into the water. You know what I might do? I might make it so that the electrolyzer fills in the suits only. That way, I don't have to worry about suit oxygen production. And then... Oh, the lower salt. Oh, you're right. You are indeed correct. I messed up. <laughs> I messed up my mining process. Thank you, Rambo. Thank you, thank you. I run cool slush over my electrolyzer output so it's warm enough to sieve. Aw, oh, that's such a waste, though. <laughs> that's such a waste. Like, you could do that, but I feel like, yeah, but it's like, you don't need to do that. It's just a heat source. But it, it works. It works. Yeah. Man. All right, guys. You know what I might have to do in this playthrough? Industrial brick. Since we don't have gold here, I'm going to have to beeline for steel. Right? So it would make sense that I would probably want to mass produce steel. And of course, that means industrial brick makes perfect sense. Because I would just have everything made out of steel anyways. Which means I need to go here and grab the pokies to start ranching. That's probably what I should start doing. At least it's not heat by a tepidizer. That's true. That is true. At least it's not being heated up by a tepidizer. So we're just trying to seal up some of the heat coming out from here. We'll probably line it up to the granite. After which we'll probably just stop. And just let it heat up whatever it heats up. So we'll mine these two. The sand's going to drop. That's going to... Are you going to get entombed? Wait. Oh, you drilled it. That was impressive. She drilled it before it actually uh, dropped on her. 
I was like, is she gonna self entune? Is this reachable? No, it's not. So we had to build a ladder first. So she can't mine granite, right? So because of that, we can't go higher than that. Just have to leave that be. Do the pokey shells die when the water becomes boiling? Almost. They almost die. Yours starts pretty similar to mine. Same asteroid, no gold, but you have mass water and mass volcano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think once we get into the biome down here with the granite, I'm probably going to get more volcanoes. Because this biome right here that's barren with the refined iron is usually where the volcanoes are. <laughs> I was I was not planning to get them up here, but I got unlucky, I suppose. But yeah, I got very lucky with the amount of water I'm able to generate. Couldn't you technically just melt the ice? You should have the same amount of ice I do, right? All right, tech tree wise, we're good. I am going to go for critter sensor next. Those are part of the extra things that I will eventually want, but probably don't need yet. All right, still CO2 and chlorine coming down. This is clean. All the gas gets to leave. New printables. What do we got? Ooh, ice, ice, oxalite. Nice. And it's time to send home Camille. Ghost Rider, it's time to join the family. Let's go. Did a good job, Ghost Rider. It's time to go home. Nice. Oh, and you're not going to be allowed to eat nutrient bars anymore. There we go. Oh, I don't have beds! Oh my god, dude, Ramble, I'm sorry, man. No one has beds. <laughs> oh, man. Guess what? We're growing more mealwood. More mealwood, baby. Let's go. Mealwood's bag on the menu. Alright, we're going to try to upgrade the living arrangements, because why not? <laughs> Oh, man. We got to up the living arrangements. You know what I need to keep track of now as well? Dirt. I know we're in Aborea. Oh, damn. We have a lot. Okay, maybe we don't need to keep track of dirt. We have 300 tons. That's that's a lot, a lot. Especially if I'm going to have pips grazing right here. Oh, God. They're going to be able to just hang around, eat branches. Generate dirt for us. All right, so now... We're able to navigate. Oh, the pip's going to come down here and start planning. This guy's going to cause a lot of issues. So my bet would be to put a door here. That's probably fine. And then once I'm able to build the door, we're going to be able to either remove the pip or that's going to separate him from getting inside. And then we need to remove all these plants so we could keep our arbor trees going. Gotta do what we gotta do. You want some alcohol? Ho and high, man. We got you, baby. Purest form of alcohol. Ethanol, baby. We got you. So, uh, you know, we have you go take a swim. That's how much we have. And hopefully that's good enough to keep you happy. Sleep on the floor. Dude, look at this. The cold energy has to fight the hot energy. That's not bad. Toilets? No one is a tidier. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No one's a tidier. Please don't make a mess. Please don't make a mess. All right, you know what? It might be time for bathrooms. It's time, you guys. Bathrooms are back on the menu. All right, so... Morbs for oxygen? 
Oh my god, don't say that. I could. That's actually feasible. And I know how to do that. <laughs> That's the worst thing. I know how to do that. Damn it, Cthulhu just just giving us these ideas that I don't want to have. <laughs> Cthulhu is just giving us all these ideas I don't want to have, man. Oh, man. Alright, so... We could go for more base setup. And I could actually set one up right now. And if I do set one up, I wouldn't want a proper piped bathroom. That is the lavatory. Due to the fact that this doesn't really help us, we need them to use the outhouses to maximize the morb setup. And you know what's messed up? I have uranium, so I could do germ-free... <laughs> I could do germ-free morb oxygen. That's actually going to be feasible. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, that's potentially going to be an option. So, morbs, the only problem with them is living temperature. And that's the only case they will die. And they will die below zero. So, I need to make a room for them. It's morb in time. Oh, there's two people in chat. I see you guys over there. Even with the shine bugs. Can't, you can't rely on shine bugs though, man. If they die, you know, it's a bad time. But that could work too with the shine bugs. I see you guys over there with the morbs. Okay, so we're out of water. Let's mop this up. We could also deconstruct that. That means it's time for us to tap into this. Oh, he's not able to do it. That's fine. Oh my god, he's going to suffocate. Oh, he's able to breathe it in. Eight grams, baby. Eight grams. What a legend. And... He's leaving. Ah, come on. <laughs> this doesn't even have the aluminum. All right, let's cancel that, man. All right, this pip, this pip's... All right, we're just going to have to get rid of the chlorine. That's probably going to be how we're going to have to do it. Yeah, that's a death loop right there, man. That potentially happens if you uh, don't make the change to cancel the door. Your dupes are going to loop towards there infinitely. Like, this guy, what's he doing? What the hell? Yeah, you're not going to make it, dude. <laughs> Damn it, man. Roll that doesn't work, it got patched out on the last patch. Huge rip, dude. I hate to say this, but it got patched. Alright, that's Slayer. Slayer, you got this, man. Stop suffocating. Alright, everyone keeps going down here. Everyone keeps going down here to grab something. Alright, man. Can we build a door and deny access? 5 a.m. Gotta go to bed. Have a good stream all. Take care, Hohenheim. Have a great night. We will see you next time. And of course, rest well. Rest easy. Come on, man. Y'all need to stop going to there. <laughs> These dupes. Thank you. No longer able to go through. You can leave, though. So we're fine. All right, you guys are good. Okay, so a little bit of water dripped, that's fine. But for the most part, we have water now. Not really mad about that. I've had the same problem in many games. It happens, man. It'd be like that sometimes. You know, the saying is that they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And that it really do be like that sometimes. Oh, I still don't have a bedroom. I got sidetracked. <laughs> I need to get a bedroom for you guys, man. Holy crap. I was like, I was making a bedroom and then I was like, oh yeah, we're making a morph farm. Oh, what? Oh yeah, let's make a morph farm. Hello, I am back, but I'm going to bed. I made dinner for my fiance while she watched TikToks. Lol. <laughs> I see a hatchling. Have a good one, man. Gotta keep the, uh, 
You gotta keep the wifey happy. But of course, yo man, all good. We'll see you next time, Mr. Hatchling. Breaded chicken, smashed the roasted potatoes. Dude, that sounds bomb, dude. You save some for me? Because, man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh, the All good, though, Hatchling. Keep the uh, fiancé happy. And you know what it is. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, let me just drive like 35 hours. Jesus Christ. The things you do, man, for the fiancé. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates it, man. That's still a tough time, though. That's a long time driving. So we're going to do that. Alright, so now... I think I will crack through this. It makes a lot of sense to do it. So we'll crack through this, let some of the chlorine out, let that settle at the bottom again. I'm not too worried about that. Eventually we'll pump all of it out. And for now, I need living space. I want to get rid of the pee water right here. This is a very, very makeshift food storage for the temporary setup that we have. I may want to go up from this point and then try to make it so that we have a uh, food storage near the top. Oh, I was saying to bring you dinner. Hey, man, that's worth it. Thanks, Hatchling. I'll be waiting, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Damn, 41 hours. Not sure where you are in Cali, but that's a frame of reference. I see you. I see you. Yo, Hatchling, I don't know if you've ever done this because this sounds very much a stupid idea. But have you ever fried chicken and then tossed it in a sauce afterwards? I'm, I don't know, man. I've done that before and it is mad delicious. The, the problem with it is... If you don't eat it right away, it's not crispy anymore. <laughs> but if you do eat it right away, man, is that delicious. Because it's still a little bit crunchy, but then you have like so much flavor on the outside now. It's like, oh god. I see you over there hatching. I was just trying to give you some ideas, but it looks like you already uh, got the ideas in the bag. I see you over there. Yeah, breaded chicken tossed in uh, sauce is good shit. 100%, man. Delicious. Oh, you know what we could do? Since technically this is an entire path, what we could do is mine it here to let it sink down. And we could pump it up from here. But that means I would have to actively break through this cold biome. Now, I do think I have to, though. Even though I don't want to do it. I think it's worthwhile to do that. Not a bad idea. We got 30 wings in the freezer right now. Oh, damn. Yeah, man. Make some buffalo wings, baby. You know what it is. Gotta get it sauced and tossed. If you know what I mean. Maybe not today. I don't think I want to break into that today. I want to have like my whole train of thought together. If I do decide to do that. Hey man. Nothing wrong with some chicken wings. <laughs> I see you though, Mr. Hatchling. Alright, so we're going to break into this area right now. I typed out laugh lol. Guys, what does lol stand for? When I was growing up. Using AIM, like a little kid. People would tell me that LOL stands for lots of laughs. And I always thought it meant laugh out loud. I don't know, man. I feel like there's two schools of thought when it comes to the LOLs. And when you think about it, both of them make sense. It's just, it's like, 
Well, which one do you prefer? <laughs> I think I take the ice. I don't want to take Jean yet. I mean, both are etymology. Etymolog. Damn it, man. They're both correct. <laughs> Structurally plausible. I can't pronounce that, man. That's etymologist, right? Stuff. The guy that like looks at structure, I think, of like different things like insects. I think that's what an etymologist is. Someone told me it means lots of love. What the heck? Now that's that's that works, but I feel like that's a stretch. But nobody laughs out loud with lol. Yeah, everyone laughs out loud with L O M A O, right? L M L M A O. Lamau, right? All the Lamaus. Or Raffling. Raffle culture. You guys know how it is. The Raffle culture. Aunt Omology. Time phaser. Thank you for trying to break that out for me with the parses. Yeah, but I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, la laughing my ass off, man. That's what it is. Means a way that relates to the oranges and histories of words, or one of particular words. Oh! Huh. Okay, I completely off. I, had, I learned a new word today. A new start, Ikazera. What's good? We are, uh, Force Life. No gold. And, uh, a lot of ice. I don't mind it. But, uh, yeah, for a start, we got pips everywhere. No thimble reeds to feed them to get cuddles, though. So, it's kind of like a weird... Yay, but not really. <laughs> How you doing, Ikazera? Dude, you guys, you guys know the, uh, the, the meme phonetics? I remember back in the day, one of the funniest things was when, uh... Man. It was when... You would type Rafflecopter. And then in the phonetics, you would type in, uh, like, F and then T. And then the uh, Microsoft guy that does the voiceover on the text, he starts pronouncing it, and it sounds like a helicopter spitting. Oh, man. The meme stuff back in the day. All right, so we can't mine obsidian yet. I don't have the skill. So we're going to have to leave that be. But we will mine as much as we can of everything else to reduce the heat mass. All right, got to go sleepy sleep. Night all. Take care, Hatchling. We'll see you next time. Grab that. There's a little bit of heat over here, but I think because this is already interacting with the warm stuff, it's already dropped in temperature. So I'm not worried too much about this. So we're going to be mining upwards. Unpermitted food source. Ah, we're already running out of meal wood. All right, we'll give you guys temporary excellence. Nope. Temporary nutrient bars. Yo, I see you over there, Cthulhu. And I still don't have beds for some people. All right, before we wrap up stream today, I'm going to get a bedroom for everybody. <laughs> I need to get a bedroom for everybody today. Or at least I want to. All right, so let me see. The food storage here is decent. And technically, this is a mine out space. I'm going to move down the polluted water into this tank so that I can put some bedrooms here. And then I might move my storage spot. I might move that over. So that means I would need ladders going down. And then this is not going to break. I could replace it now, though, so I will. And then air flows right there. I do want all the polluted oxygen caught by this, but we're going to move the deodorizers down 
and then that way we put a proper floor here. These oxyphords are not going to do anything anymore. And they're not doing any research. I could grab the oil well. And... Oh, the pip's not able to plant this. That's because of these plants. God damn it. So yeah, I need to fix the chlorine situation before I could go do that. For now, I will auto-harvest those arboricorns. And because these rust in here isn't actually uh, slime lung, I'm probably just going to mine it out right now. Get some algae as well. Getting soggy feet every time. Feels bad about that. Alright, so we got up to here. From here, we just ladder up. We'll crack into this area, mine it out. And then I kind of wanted this to be a Draco location. Any tips for industrial brick design? The first tip I would give you is have a lot of steel. You don't understand how much steel you really need until you build one. And if you want to have a steel buffer amount, I would recommend 25 tons. Because <laughs> you have to understand everything has to be made out of steel. From your batteries, they have to be made out of steel. Everything. Because you need the overheat temperature. Because everything will get, depending on what you want inside as well. Because a lot of the times, you would also put things like a polymer press inside. Right? So the poly press releases steam. And, you know, it's going to be a heat source. And if you put aqua tuners in there as well. You need a lot of steel if you're going to do industrial brick. I'm probably going to do one in this playthrough as well. It's probably going to make a lot of sense for me to do that. Alright, just had to turn off the air for a second. Oh, that, that woke up Mamba when I hit turned off the AC. <laughs> but uh, tips for the industrial brick design. Uh, the thing about it is... A lot of the times, you're going to have to choose between using a mesh tile or a solid tile. And believe it or not, there are very good advantages to both. Of course, it depends. But it has to do with the output of your water. So if you drip the water out, the water is going to stay water during the falling animation. So it's going to keep falling until it hits solid tile. So you could either drip out the water at the bottom, or you put a solid tile for it to drip on top, or an airflow tile to put on top, uh, somewhere near the top. And that's going to be how you cool down your box. That might dictate how you're going to lay out your design, because you're going to see that if you put all your heat, uh, heat producers at the top, your steam turbines hit a top-end temperature faster, right? And then you could just drip the steam off the top as well, or you drip it at the bottom. And then that makes it so that your steam turbines cool down quicker as well, since it's near the top. I mean, not your steam turbines, your aqua tuners, right? So it's like thinking about the layout. How does it cool? How efficient is it going to be? And then you could also use uh, crude oil puddles for additional conductivity so that you cool down the buildings faster. And uh, that's where you would use, you know, the solid tiles. But outside of that, uh, the wider the build is, typically the more efficient it can be because, you know, you don't have to wait for the heat to rise up. And then a thing that I've seen is some people put a closed loop pipeline of oil. So it's like if you had steam turbines up top right here, they would take a pipeline and zigzag it, right? All the way to the bottom, keep zigzagging, and then bring it back to the top. So the oil is literally flowing with no power with the bridge. And all of this does is even out the temperature. Because you're going to take the, the hot steam and then it's going to heat up. If it takes it to a cooler area, it's going to warm it up while cooling down the oil. But yeah, there's a lot of things you could do into an industrial brick to make it more efficient. It's really up to the resources you have and then how much space you have to work with, to be honest. But yo, Ikazera, hope that helps, man. If there's any specifics that you want to do, I could try to point you in the right direction. But yeah, the general tips, it's, it's kind of tough. 
Okay, so this is ready. Seal that up. Thanks, Bond. Anytime. This whole build was helpful. Alright, boys. We can mine that out now. Leak out the pee water. Oh, it's not going to fill up here. Ah, uh, yes. So a little bit of the pee oxygen is going to run out. No, I should have put solid tiles. I didn't think about that. I was like, I didn't want any gas bubbles inside. So I'll put airflow here so we can push the gas out. Oh, it's not going to fill up perfectly. <laughs> so it's still going to produce polluted water and then push out that way. Damn it, man. Alright, so we probably seal that up. I have to put that on an airflow tile, otherwise you can't reach this tile. Alright, nice. It's as low as I need it to be. So now I could start mining this out. That also means this is solid tile now. That also means I could mine this out. Not this though. I need that to climb back up the ladder. Oh, you're stuck? Not really. They're fine, they're fine. Cool, cool. So, there's going to be a way for this to leak out polluted oxygen now. I'm not going to want that. And then we're going to try to seal this up. So that's going to mean it's probably going to push out this way. I'm actually fine with that. All right, polluted oxygen out this way only. So... Let me try to do something weird. Double oxidizer right there. Just for a little bit more uh, strength. Now with that, we could mine this out. And we could get rid of all of this. Probably want to mine. No, that's going to off gas all it's by itself. Should be fine. And then you could technically walk over that way. So I would seal that up. And then get that. This is supposed to be mined out. And new printables. Slow learner. Ooh, that sucks. I'm taking the Oxifern. Dude, imagine actually relying on Oxifern late game. I could probably try to do that. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Oh, and this is oxygen. Cool. So, a lot of the heavy gases got pulled down already. I'm happy with that. And it's uh, just CO2 and whatnot now. Alright, so I could technically crack this part. If I could reach it. And then this allows the CO2 from this level to start spilling out. And then we could remove it. Nice, nice. I would try to actively mop up the water here, though. Just so that the gas flow is better. They are not bad, surprisingly, but amount is limited. Wait, wait, wait. What, what were we talking about, Fluon? Train of thought. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but they compress CO2 wildly. Oh, the oxyferns. Oxyferns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's like... It's an additional O2 source, is, is, it's how I'm thinking about it, right? Additional O2. If this worked like a deodorizer, this would be amazing. You know that? <laughs> if this worked like a deodorizer, this would be godlike. They overpressure my base sometimes. I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. I usually have to combine them with a scrubber. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a way where you could contain the CO2 in a box. 
and then have the oxifer kind of purify it as it passes through. Or maybe like a deodorizer and how it's like only when it's oxygen it gets to leave. But I think the only way that works is if uh, it's off of uh, automation somehow. Alright, alright. So, a little bit of P oxygen. The deodorizers are gone. Looks like I gotta put at least a couple of back. That should be fine. Alright. We're going to want to move the proper storage. And then... Where do I want to put this? Ah... Got an idea, got an idea. We do it like this. That way, we can't get hit by the decor penalty. And then we're still able to navigate through. And they could still pick up while on the ladder. Haha, -ha, nice. Alright, so I need to copy this. And then I could remove both of these now. Nice. Oh, now the pips got trapped. Hey, they could they could live with the uh, dupes. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Research is over. Let's continue. Let's grab some automation stuff. We're finally gonna have beds, guys. All right. So I think we will go for morbs. Why not? To some level, we'll have uh, have some more farms going. I should have did this from cycle one though. Does that door hold all the decor inside? Yes, it does. Well, no, it holds the decor off of these tiles as well. So your decor is a plus sign. From where the debris tile is. So since the bottom is a solid tile, there's no decor penalty there. These two is on the door. And then you could see that these two tiles are not accessible. Like a dupe can't crawl in there, right? So because of that, those two are not part of it as well. So if I bring up the decor overlay, it's going to be here, 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 and here, but not up top. So it's here and here. So technically it does hold it inside, but also the tiles. Because it's technically these tiles right there. Yeah, and that's the reason why this is really nice. Resist pressure of PL2, sometimes a uh, reasonable extent in some setups. Resist pressure of PL2. What do you mean that? What, what do you mean, Fluon, when you say that? Resist pressure. Relurk. Gotcha, Hatchling. <laughs> Appreciate the lurks, my friend. Alright, I think I could do a uh, morb setup on this side because it's warmer. And I think that makes a lot of sense. I want to say that makes a lot of sense. Huh? Seems Steam lacks mod, which will help evaluate heat transfer rate. Oh, God. There is ca there's, there's a calculator and calculations and websites, but man, it's complicated. I could do heat transfer in value, but I cannot do heat transfer in time. So I could give you if two liquids, two solids, or two gases, or solid liquid, solid gas, whatever combination, and you have different temperatures, I could about estimate the end temperature that it's going to settle at, but I can't tell you how long it's going to take. I could only do half of the equations on Oni. <laughs> it's so sad, man. I can only do half. But yeah, I could calculate end temperature. I can't calculate how long it takes to get to that, though. All 
All right, all right. So, outhouse setup. We're going to need the deodorizers on top, as we normally would. Which means I need to do a weird setup. And if I do use this as a more oxygen room... I... Man... The thing is, is that... I don't know if this is a good location. And it's right next to my printing pot. Because it makes me feel like that's a bad location. Because it is. If, like, oxyferin keeping some kilogram of CO2 under if it's planted in a row, some can be done with deodorizers with 10 hundreds of PO2 at the bottom and pure O2 above it with the ceiling. Oh, I see what you're saying. Wait. You, that works? If that works... Yeah, that could work. So, hmm, I'm gonna have to look into the specifics of that, Fluon, but I see what you're saying. I need to see a screenshot because I have an idea depending on how it's laid out I could try to do something design wise with Oxford but yeah I don't want to experiment right now <laughs> I'll probably look do you have a screenshot of that how that works for one I wouldn't mind checking that out it seems interesting all right so we got to here and I need to start mining this uh this is probably safe to go completely straight out like that. And then I do want to get up to the top. I probably do crack it to the top. That's probably fair. See a lot of space as well. I done once long time ago, so should redo. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll probably try to sandbox it myself then to see how it works. It's kind of interesting, man. Kind of interesting. So the heat energy right here is starting to dissipate. And then the cool energy, I think it's going to be able to bully it. So we should be okay. Of course, we will continue mining things out. The more we mine out, the better it's going to be. The less heat transfer we're going to have to worry about. Oh, I should not do that because of the uh, four tile mining rule. We'll let the Dracos roam. So it shouldn't be too bad. Later, my man. I am off. Take care, Ghost Rider. We got you a dupe. You are the Camille with the red hair. There you are. But yo, man, have a good one, Ghost Rider. We will see you next time. I tried to do it manually, checking which material would be enough, at least roughly. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So it sounds like you are messing around with like a very controlled gas pressure environment. So that you get specifically like one layer of oxygen above CO2 kind of a thing. It sounds like that's potentially finicky in how it's like a little bit could change and it doesn't work anymore. But if it works, it could be a nice design for the oxyphers. Yo, Zach Roy, uh, Zach Raho, am I saying that right? Thank you, Zach. Thank you so much for the follow. If I mispronounce your name, correct me, please, because I have no idea how to speak the English sometimes. But thank you so much for the follows. Appreciate the support. Technically, this is all mine out as well. All right, all right. One Draco is breaking out. He's cool, though. We know that guy. Oxyphrens don't care where they spawn O2. Only care bottom tile of plant is not overpressured. So when that's the case... You're talking about the base tile of the plant, right? Right here? Right, okay. 
Okay, okay. Hmm. And then if I build a planter box, this becomes the tile and then the base is up here. Okay, okay. It happens more spontaneous. Okay. Ooh, algae? How am I going to say no? I could also take some hatches. That's cold generation. I can't be mad about that because I'm going to need a... Uh, Refined carbon for steel later. I have a couple of hatches. I don't know if I have enough. And then there's these dupes that are uh, tier 3 digging. I mean, that's not bad. Rocketry, ranching, decorator. He's anemic, though. I don't know if that's a good thing. We'll probably take the hatch eggs. Alright, so with that, we could mine this out and mine that out. More chlorine, which is fine. We just need to mine out a lot of the warm energy and cutting it in half. Try to mine all this if we can. All right, all right. The meal wood is balanced out again. So, no more eating muck root or nutrient bars. Meal lice only. And then you guys could eat meat. That's fine. We're not going to cook that yet. So, guys, people in chat, I have a curious conversation for you guys. And you guys see how Clay is approaching Oni? They're slowly adding in more and more content, and that's great, right? So, I'm thinking, is there a chance that at some point, they're setting up the game to include combustion? Do you guys think that will ever happen? Or is it just out of the question that they will never add that in? Because I could slowly see that happening. Right now, there's no such thing as fire right which is why like a lot of things like the hydrogen generator or natural gas doesn't just explode you know things like that and the only thing we have close to that is the research reactor i'm thinking clay could be playing the long game slowly adding in more and more things and there's nothing now that has to deal with anything like that but i could see that happening man i don't know slowly in adding more things to put out fires <laughs> alternative resources to use so that we don't use the dangerous gas, so to speak. Seems like combustion would need two materials per tile. What if it just becomes a entity in and of itself that is fire and then it converts the explodable gas into the fire element and it just spreads like wildfire. I'm in for oxygen hydrogen torches for dupes. Oh my god. <laughs> I've whatever reason I imagine that would look like a lightsaber, dude. <laughs> it just feels like that should look like a lightsaber, how that's described. Oxygen hydrogen torches. I imagine a stick and you gotta have an on button. But it shoots out like a lightsaber. <laughs> I feel like it has to, man, for that to work. Maybe it'd be a short lightsaber. Alright, alright. Or it could happen on contact. Ooh. Yo, man, that, that's a little bit of a dangerous game you're playing, man. Chlorine sometimes too. I see, I see. I feel like the chance of... Uh, I feel like if they do add something like that, where there's a chance of your colony catching on fire, I'm, I'm kind of for it, but at the same time, man, that's a very quick way to kind of end it. We're doing good though, guys. We are doing great. 
We have oxygen. Oh, it's running thin. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I don't think we're doing that great anyways. Oh, it's probably because of all the mining. So the oxygen is expanding and the rusty oxidizer can't keep up. I think we'll be fine though. We will be fine. It would change so many builds and one explosion could easily kill all your dupes. Would be really interesting though. What if they make the explosion very little damage? But it wipes out all the oxygen. Right? Because think about it. The, the problem wouldn't be that the fire could kill the dupes. They could actually code it so that it doesn't. They could make it so that the buildings catch on fire and you lose oxygen. And then you would be like, oh my god, we need more O2. And then, you, no, no, we could, we could argue that if you have an Atmos suit, it protects you. So that it would force people to get Atmos suits, right? Instead of just using something like a, the oxygen mask. Most of the things are made from fireproof material. That is true. That is true. You don't have a lot of flammability in this game. But that could be fair. You don't lose your buildings, you only lose oxygen. Because you have to burn the oxygen in order for the fire to work. Added O2 difficulties. Technically hard mode. Of course, this is just an idea, you know. But I feel like... I can't see what the long game is that Clay's gonna be playing. Wonder if they're playing a long game with some of the updates. Right, so that's ready. I can't reach that. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four. And then we get those. Alright, so top of the map. I think I will go with the same strat I did last time. I think that's very feasible. And I think the strategy that I did that worked was basically take the space ice up here and make it into a food freezer. I think this is going to be a good idea again. I'll try to pull it off for a second time. Base full of O2 burn and we got CO2 everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have slicksters, man, just to take care of business. Oh, a little bit of idleness. Okay, cool. Gotta sweep the items. Sweep the items. Mine that out. Let them do their business. Imagine hydrogen rocket engine mid base. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that'd be a bad time. That would make it so that you can't put rockets in your base anymore. <laughs> Unless you have like a proper wall. Because those deep rockets that you put at the bottom to the launch to skim, uh, to trim the neutronium and stuff like that, no longer be that feasible. I mean, it'd still be feasible, but it'd be like, yo man, it's kind of dangerous now. Alright, so we found all our geysers. We explored most of the map and we got to the barren part. And below the barren part is only going to be a uh, magma core, so I'm not too worried about exploring below that. And it's just a lot of refined metal, like refined iron. Not a lot, just a little. Regular iron ore and a lot of raw mineral and obsidian. Probably some slime modes as well. But I think we did pretty good today, guys. I think we did pretty good. So guys, any questions in chat? If you guys want to ask anything, let me know. Oh, I'm out of seeds. That's what it was. That's why he stopped planting. I thought he was too close to the plants. But guys, it's going to be time for me to wrap things up for the night. Going to be time for me to give Mamba his head rubs and of course to get some dinner. But dude, we did it. New colony. 82 cycles in. That's not bad. 
How many reactors have you blown up in Oni? In my last playthrough, uh, which was the all achievement run, I got three meltdowns. But, uh, the meltdowns was not on purpose. So one of them was I was in sandbox mode and someone asked me how does a meltdown look like, so we showed him. And then the second one, I was on the ice asteroid trying to open the temporal tear. And I did not bring enough water. <laughs> so it melted down. And then the third time was we got it up up and running, opened the tear. But uh, I put too much uranium. But since we opened the tear, I didn't care about it anymore. So we just let it kind of just explode. And then after that, we beat the game. <laughs> But outside of that, yeah, I, I try not to. I try to keep more water with it, and I try to always uh, bottleneck the uranium. I never fe uh, feed it too much. You try to feed it as little as you can. <gasps> Grub fruit preserves. This lasts a long time. Oh my god, look at this dupe. Slow learner, bottomless stomach. Jeez, man. Small bladder. Come on, dude. How do you have a big stomach, small bladder? That makes no sense. We're taking the food. Alright. Looking pretty good. We're doing a little bit of a sweep job right there. Makes sense. Mine that though. Should be not bad. And we should be able to mine all that. Alright though. Guys. That's going to be it for me today. It's time to get to save in the green mamba. 